Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip on how to use the Sketch to Scale feature in Review. Now this is a great tool if you want to quickly go through and see if something can fit in a space or just creating details or something in a design set that needs to be at scale, whatever the scale is to that set itself or floor plan for this issue is what I'm gonna go through and do. Um, and how you can quickly go through and utilize that tool in Review. So let's hop on into review and show you how this can be done. Alrighty, now that we're into review, we're gonna go through and show you how this can be done. This specific example is gonna be in this break room area and this title's in the way, so I'm gonna go through and cut this content out. No, I'm not gonna remove it permanently. I'm just gonna drag it down. But I wanna see if a table fits in this break room and how can I quickly go through and do that? So this PDF isn't set to scale down in the bottom right, not set to scale. I'm going to change this preset scale to a 16th of an inch equals a foot because I know that's what the scale is of the page. And on the top right over here, I have my quick access toolbar. That's because in the top left, I'm in the profile review advanced. Typically in the out of the box review install, the profile is just this and there is no quick access to our measurement tools. So I'm gonna switch back to the review advanced. If you don't have them up here, you can always go to tools. You can go to sketch to scale, not measure. And they're the orange color icons. So I'm gonna quickly grab a rectangle. I'm gonna left click for my first placement. And then you have the ability to tab through to change the different either height, width, or even rotation. So I want this to be a 10 foot table tab to the next tool or measurement, which is my height. And I'm gonna go through and make this a five foot table. Hit enter. So now I have a 10 foot by five foot table. You can go through and add any hatch patterns that you'd like. You can colorize this if you want to. We'll just go through. And now I can see that this will fit in this break room where I need it to. So again, being able to go through and quickly create sketch to scale items within your PDF set. This specifically was just an example of a table in a break room area. You can quickly go through and do this right here in review natively by using the sketch to scale tools. Now this viewport or um, scale was for the whole page. If you wanna go through and create custom viewports, you can go to the measurement tabs because maybe you have different scales in different areas of the page and you can just add a viewport. So from here, I'm gonna add a different viewport. I'm just left clicking, so let me do this slow, selecting the plus button, select your region of where you want the viewport to go to. So I'm left clicking here and I'm holding to drag so I get a rectangle. And then I'm gonna make this a different scale. We'll just use quarter of an inch, that's fine. You can name this viewport if you want to, but you can see as I drag this over, um, also we have different scaling for this as well. So within the viewport here, we have the ability to have different set scales of that specific item. This also follows suit directly for our custom tool sets. So if you ever create a custom tool sets and now going off on a tangent, if you want to, you can go through and have a pre-created table, but you can have it at scale. And then when it goes into the different viewport, you're having them scale. So again, you have those options of drawing at scale, or sketching to scale, or creating custom scalable tool sets with that viewport. Again, just a quick way in how you can go through and use sketch to scale icons or set sketch to scale markups in review. So if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. But thank you for tuning in today on this quick tip on how you can use the sketch to scale feature within review to make that uh, easier workflow so you don't have to go directly in the design um, software like AutoCAD or Revit or whatever you're using for design, you can do that directly here in review and make that easier process. But thank you for tuning in today. Please like and subscribe below. Comment if you have any other quick tips you'd like to see or if you just have a question or just want to say hi. But thank you for tuning in today. It means a lot. And I look forward to you tuning into more videos in the future.